Good morning and welcome. It is 8.30. It is the 15th day of September 2021. And I am your ta- guide to all tabletop role-playing news, weather, and sports, the OGGM. It is Wednesday in most parts of the world. It's a weird, strange, spooky, foggy Wednesday here in Ventura. Perhaps Halloween has descended upon us sooner than we expected. And since it's Wednesday, it's time to take a look at what's coming out product-wise that you can expect on the shelves of your friendly local game store. That's Zest Games and Anime here in Ventura. As always, take these dates with a grain of salt. These are all tentative dates and are not 100% accurate. Shipping, as we have said repeatedly, has been delayed due to COVID and other factors. So any product that comes coming out this week might come out this week, might come out next week, might come out a couple months ago from now, might never come out. Um, anyways, the best way to find out what's going on is to visit your friendly local game store, that's Sess Games and Anime here in Ventura, and ask them. All right. So as we can see from the picture in front of us, we have the Gale Force Nine Dritz and the Companions of the Hall figure set coming out. We talked about these earlier. They're obviously for Dungeons & Dragons 5th Edition, though you could use them for any game that uses figures and stuff like that. Uh, Retail price is $50. It includes all the pals from the Drizzit stuff, like Drizzit and his panther, and and all his buddies like Bruno, Cattlebray, Wolfgar, and some others. From Crucible 7 for Warhammer Fantasy Roleplay, we have Power Behind the Throne, Collector's Edition. For $150, this is part three of the of five of the revised and updated director's cut of Enemy Within from Warhammer 1E. Wow. Enemy Within was like just one thing, wasn't it? Now it's five parts and it's 150 bucks per... Wow. <laughs> From Arc Dream Publishing, we have Impossible Landscapes for Delta Green going at $70. This is a campaign that covers four operations against the King of Yellow in the world of Delta Green. From Free League Publishing, we have the Colonial Marines Operational Manual for the award-winning Alien role-playing game. This is a $45 hardback supplement to the Aliens role-playing game. It sets all the tools you need to run a full campaign using the iconic Colonial Marines. From Free League Publishing, we have the Adventure Collection and the Haunted Waste for Symbarium. Symborium? S-Y-M-B-A-R-O-U-M. Symborium. It's $40 each for these hardcover supplements for the uh, Symborium role-playing game. Uh, the Adventure Collection obviously is a advent- bunch of adventures. And the Haunted Waste is the fifth episode of the Chronicles of the Throne of Thorns, which is an adventure path that they were doing for this system. From Troll Lord Games, we have the Starship Warden, a hardcover supplement for the Siege Engine role-playing game. This is an $80 hardback supplement where you play people trapped aboard the Starship Warden. If that name sounds familiar, the Starship Warden, it should it's the uh, basis for the old Metamorphosis Alpha role-playing game, and of course also the inspiration for the famous slash infamous Dungeons & Dragons model, model <laughs> Dungeons & Dragons module expedition to the Barrier Peak. So it's nice to see the Starship Warden returning to tabletop role-playing game space and further space-based weirdness set aboard the ship. From Planar Compass for the OSR, we have Moon Elves, a softcover supplement for $12 that it explores the empire of the artifactors, geomancers, and techomancers that created flying ship machines to stuff telepathic moon trees into biocomputers. So basically, uh, this is a setting slash supplement for the OSR doing magic tech involving a race of elves from swords Fist island we have Don, down and out in dredgeburg the walking of willowberry hall and trash planet epsilon actually that's the waking of willowberry hall and trash planet epsilon these are all uh soft cover supplements for world of dungeons slash nave slash electric bastion land they're 15 dollars each they're osr adventures 
down and out in Dredsburg. You are a PC who has died and woken up in the city of Dredsburg, a dark oasis of sorts wedged in between the many hells of the underworld. The Waking of Wilbury Hall is a dense, highly interactive RPG adventure set in a ruined manor beset by a rampaging giant. I have this one. It's a lot of fun. Uh, and the um, Trash Planet Epsilon is a cyber chunk game and takes place in the galactic dump orbiting a planet called Epsilon. Um, yeah, cyber junk. Stop making up words. Uh, from Mophipius, Modificius, Mophidius. Yeah, I'm never going to say that name right. We have Starfleet Command Division Dice, Starfleet Operation Division Dice, and Starfleet Science Division Dice sets. These are dice sets for the Star Trek Adventure role-playing game. Each set has six dice, and they are $20 each. They, the set includes two 20-sided dice with the Starfleet Delta on one face and four six-sides challenge dice with damage results on the one and two faces. From far, First Falling Leaf, we have Sin Game Master screen for the Sins role-playing game. This is a $25 Game Master screen for the Sins role-playing game. I don't know what the Sins role-playing game is, nor do I know what the World of Dungeons Engines role-playing game is, nor do I know what the Siege Engine role-playing game is. So they're all systems I need to look into. But uh, yeah, of these products, what sounds the most interesting to you? To me, the Starship Warden. Uh, and that's maybe it. The idea of spending $150 for an adventure doesn't really inspire me. Ah, remember when these things were like 20 bucks? Anyways, that is the complete list of all the products that might be on the shelves at your tabletop role-playing game sh world shop thing. Head on down to your friendly local game store, that's Sess Games and Anime here in Ventura, and check out to see if they are available, and if not, if they could order them for you. As always, I have been your OGGM, your guide to all things gaming. If you appreciate this content, please let me know. If you haven't had a chance to subscribe yet, please subscribe. Help me hit 1,000 subs. Until we see each other again, have a great day. Stay warm, stay dry, stay healthy, stay happy, stay off my land. And I will talk to you all later. See ya.